So, how do you guys like the intro? <laughs> no, but like all jokes aside, um, so this is a vlog that I am filming right now. I do plan on doing more of these at least once a week. But basically, I just want to have a conversation with you guys, um, let you know what you know I've been doing, what are my goals for the new year, and you know just pretty much catching up. Uh, you know I've been creating a lot of content over the last month or so, mostly short form content, but I'm really starting to ready to expand on long form content recently hired like an assistant as well as like a editor to kind of help me push out some of this content and i'm really just wanting to kind of share like my life um on social media within like certain things obviously i want to keep my private life my private life but just you know documenting my life through a lens like i've recently really been getting into like videography as well as photography um i wouldn't say i'm just like an expert or anything like that but i know few different things you know to make me or at least feel comfortable to start editing and doing certain things and um i'm really starting to enjoy it like at first i was really creating content just to get brand deals and to make money and to do all those different things which i mean definitely made a nice amount of money um doing all that but then when i kind of started doing it for the reason of like trying to get paid it got boring um it got really more so like a chore um, didn't really want to do it anymore and it just was really weighing down on me and then um, i did project 30. doing project 30 got me out of feeling like creating content was a chore and it's more so just like a daily routine so that really kind of helped me create content and really kind of fall in love with it versus just trying to do it to make money don't get me wrong you know the money that comes with it is obviously great i love it <laughs> but it just really makes it boring now um you know everyone on the internet they're in competition with each other you know they're trying to outdo this person they're trying to make more money than this person and you can never just really be okay with your wins because you're always comparing yourself and i see a lot of people doing that and you know social media can do that to you if you're not really self-aware or you're not really like mentally strong but you know for me um, i can definitely say i've grown over the years um i really think i've matured <laughs> So um, recently, you know, I started back therapy. Um, I've been in therapy for like the last three months, I believe, or two months. I don't know, but yeah, started back going to therapy. Nothing really crazy, nothing's going on with me. It's just more so like, you know, a maintenance type of thing. Like instead of like waiting till something's like really wrong with me, I just decided like, hey, I'm going to therapy and, um, you know, just really do a, a check-in, a maintenance check-in. Um, but yeah, man, you know, just like a lot have been going on, a lot of good. Not really a lot of bad. I know last year, 2023 was definitely like a huge toll on me. Like content creation really, really just was not my focus. I really didn't care. Um, honestly, even with my job, like I felt like even some of my work was suffering um, just because like, I felt like I was going through a lot at the time. Towards the end of the year, things started getting better and it led me to like creating goals that I want to complete in 2024. Um, I know with me in 2024, I definitely plan on to create a lot more content. <laughs> if you guys see me around in Dallas or whatever, you will notice I'm probably going to have my camera with me. And it's not even more so for content. Like, I mean, obviously it is for content, but it's more so just like, I really want to document my life. Like being able to look back a year or two ago, I mean, a year or two later, I really grew, I was doing this, or even just like my editing styles. Like, you know, looking at some stuff that I had from last year, I'm like, dang, like my editing style is like so much more different or I'm editing a lot better than what I was last year. And, you know, I, I just really want to be able to see not only the growth in my life in general, but just like seeing my growth as a content creator. And I'm actually going to organize everything in that file server by um, date as well as month and year so you know for the first week of january i want to have that you know labeled there and have all the content all the pictures i've taken during that month and then you know the second week and then you know february then march then so on so at the end of the year it, I, i'm really doing it for the end of the year compilation type of thing because i couldn't do that this year i mean i could have but just being able to be organized when it comes to that i really would like to do that <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to doing that but yeah, I've now been in my house for maybe five or six months now. So I'm really like starting to kind of come in and I'm actually, I still don't have my blinds yet. Like if I can show you guys, like, let me show you guys. <laughs> so like I have my blinds right here. Like if you guys can tell, like I have my blinds right here. Um, they keep sending me the wrong size blinds. So like for my bigger windows, like I don't have the blinds for them yet. So it's kind of all over the place. But yeah, like, so I'm still having to deal with that. I've sent these blind backs maybe 
three times already and they keep sending it back so at this point i'm just like whatever man so yeah i'm still dealing with that for one i really haven't just been able to decorate the house the way i really want to um i've just been doing so much so many more things and you know i'm going to be here for a while so i'm like i'm taking my time i've done all the things that i really wanted to do um as far as like my sound system uh, got all my TVs. I got all the technical stuff. My office. I still haven't even done anything to my office, really. I mean, I've been buying accessories and things like that. <clears throat> all in all, though, this video is more so just meant for like updating you guys based on like what I've been doing, what my plans are for the year, and just really sharing more knowledge with you guys. I know you guys may have seen like on social media, I said I wasn't going to be making as much content about career advice as I used to do in the past, which is actually true um i'm not trying to get away from career advice but um i just more so want to talk about things that i really enjoy i mean don't get me wrong i really do enjoy talking about the tech industry i love trying to get people into the industry but um a lot of that information just really get it's redundant it's repetitive and i've created hundreds of videos over the last few years um just talking about how you can get into the tech industry you know how to interview within the tech industry how you can um you know negotiate your salary like i've been talking about a lot of that for like four plus five years and it just i don't really get a, a kick out of it anymore you know you have everybody that's like on social media um you know you have the, the people that's wrecking the tech industry that's constantly talking about it you know you have people that's selling boot camps you have people that's doing courses and you know it's like i feel like in the essence like there's already enough people in that space um, a lot of good people as well too that you know you can kind of learn the information from now don't get me wrong i still am going to have like my two cents i'm going to talk about when it comes to the tech industry but i'm more so trying to navigate and pivot towards <clears throat> technology reviews and tech gadgets and stuff like that because at the end of the day um that is what i've always enjoyed that's what i always love but i ended up building my platform on accident on career advice because during the time while I was in college I was documenting my journey I was letting people know what I was doing to get into the tech industry etc so <laughs> it, it kind of happened that on accident you know people really was enjoying the content that I was posting and I ended up just kind of staying in that lane um, just because every time I try to make a pivot out of it you now my content doesn't do as well and um, at that point I just realized like I have to make the pivot um, you know if my content don't do as well right away I'm perfectly fine with that I understand you know for me to eventually start reaching the audience that i want then i'm going to have to take that hit within certain things <laughs> and you know i may sometimes still kind of incorporate you know career advice when i feel like i put too much uh tech gadgets and tech reviews out on my page and i'm even creating lifestyle videos like you know kind of how you see uh, how you guys seen like my intro you know it's like the soothing you know then a life or lifestyle this type of videos or even just like you know like a hype reel where i'm probably going in um i actually post one video so you guys can see what i'm talking about But this is like the type of content that I want to try to create. Uh, if I am going to be serious about YouTube, I have to be consistent. And with me being consistent, that means I have to pull out my camera and record more, which is also another thing as well too. I don't go anywhere. I stay in my house all the time. So as far as me being like a content creator, that means now I have to actually go outside of my house and plan stuff especially if i plan on doing daily vlogs because not daily vlogs weekly vlogs because if i'm doing weekly vlogs and i'm always in the house you guys are probably just going to be like bro what like you always in the house so you know i definitely said whenever i do go out i plan on going like more networking events more conferences just really like trying to be more extrovert like I said before, I just pretty much wanted to create this video so that you guys can see some information here and understand, you know, my transition of what I plan on doing this year. When it comes to content creation, I do, you know, still plan on doing tutorials. I still plan on doing the technical things. I still plan on doing that, but I'm more so going to be focused on technology reviews. That is going to be like my calling for the 2024 year. So uh, 
Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I look forward to you guys looking forward to me creating more content.